are the Galar region, featuring sprawling landscapes and a diverse array of Pokémon in their natural habitat. This region is truly a sight to behold. Recently, newly discovered Pokémon have been sighted in two uncharted sub-regions, the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Let us now venture through each of these areas and see what mysteries and discoveries await curious travelers. Uh, although ambivalent travelers are also welcome, right, either way, off we go. Lo, the Isle of Armor, a lush island filled to the brim with stunning natural scenery. Pristine beaches with softly crashing waves and rich verdant forests. These are just a handful of the environments to be found here. It is no surprise that many Pokémon call this majestic island their home. Turn your attention to this Pokémon, for instance. Its cries, oh, joyful cries, that is, are but a small testament to how idyllic the island truly is, if, if you pay no mind to all the, uh, the, the questionable activity. <clears throat> Moving on. The Isle of Armor also boasts the natural elements of wood, metal, and stone, which are fused together to create these aptly named towering structures. The Tower of Waters and the Tower of Darkness. Trainers and their Pokémon from all over make their way here, ready to test the absolute limits of their fighting prowess via martial arts. Nature works in mysterious ways, I suppose. After all, this Pokémon trains its mind and body, despite its rather stubby arms. <laughs> Extraordinary. Now feast your eyes upon the snow-swept realm of the Crown Tundra. This arctic territory, blanketed with drifts of glistening snow and colossal ice-capped mountains, is a high point of interest to many a traveler. These Pokémon frequent this frigid setting, their bodies providing stout defense against the colder climate. <laughs> the wintry weather here is certainly snow joke. <laughs> Oh, this unforgiving frosty terrain is nearly as harsh as the look I'm getting from our studio director. All right, let's let's continue. Their spirits undeterred, travelers make their way to the Crown Tundra, eager to participate in expeditions through the Pokémon dens. Very few have been able to get a glimpse of these layers before, but now they can be fully explored. Perhaps one may even be lucky enough to spot a certain legendary Pokémon here. Dear me, that certainly would be legendary for me, of course. But <laughs> you do not need to catch them all to narrate a video. These destinations are just begging to be explored. Step into these lands filled with delight and wonder and take in all that you can about the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Oh, that footage was just lovely. I hope to take a trip there someday. Excellent work, all simply. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, right. oh yes, right. Uh, here we are. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass for the Pokemon Sword game and the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass for the Pokemon Shield game. Part one, the Isle of Armor, and part two, the Crown Tundra. Available now only on the Nintendo Switch system.